rather than I'm going to try and cut it away from it or I'll draw, hit it miles up the right and draw it and you're constantly changing your shot patterns just try and hit the same similar thing over and over and over again and just adjust your target rather than you know one minute trying to come across it in a big fade the next one trying to get under it and trying to turn the ball and then your misses just get bigger I can guarantee I'll hit this off the planet now Oh, I knew it. Pulled it. What do you think like defines like a, a good attitude? Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with, say, losing your temper short term. But it's like if you're going to do it, get rid of it and let it go within 30 seconds. Like some of the more experienced players or good players that I play with that might be deemed to have a bad attitude or a temperament. Yeah. They let go of it very quickly and it's done a minute later there, back, having a chat, whatever. Whereas I think on the lower levels, sometimes you play with a guy you know, and he's in a mood, in a strop for three and a half hours after two day. shots and that's not helping him and it's also not helping the guys you're playing with for what they're trying to do. Sort of a lot of it's ego. You hit an okay golf shot and you want to moan to show to everyone else that that's beneath your standards. Yeah, I've not quite caught one. Whereas I think the more experienced guys would be like, well, that's okay, it's in play. It wasn't pretty, but you know, it's fine. And just move on from it rather than, because they know they're good at golf, rather than trying to... I'm trying to prove something. Yeah, trying to force on people that they're good at golf, if that makes sense. Straight down wind, flying line. Pitching and practicing and like early you look like you're trying to overcomplicate it slightly with flight, a bit of shape, trying to hit the distance. Um, I was thinking like if you get on a, you want to practice that sort of stuff, but whilst you're playing, just view it that it's an 80 yard pitch shot. What have I got with me today that I can hit 80 yards? But if you're struggling to hit a low flight then there's no point in trying to force the low flight just except right, I'm going to pop it up a bit and it's yeah. going to go a bit higher than I want but I'll sort that out on Wednesday at the driving range or whatever rather than trying to hit the Yeah, trying shot. to force the shot that you feel like you should yeah. be trying to hit rather than the one you're comfortable trying to hit right now on this golf shot that you only get one chance at if you know what I mean. It's funny because if you set, if you if you just to stand on a on a range and you had a track man and they just said hit 80 yards, hit 90 yards, you wouldn't try and hit 80 yard shot with a bit of cut to a certain trajectory. You'd yeah, just, yeah. You would think 80 yards yeah. and you'd just try and execute something fairly Yeah, neutral. whereas, like I say, when you're on the course with a bit, say, a crosswind, just try and hold it up or just try and move it with it. And yeah. So you don't really need to do that. If you're trying to hit 80 yards and you're at 75, you're 15 feet away. It's not, or, you know, you're at 85. It's, yeah. you've got a 15 foot putt. It's quite, it's quite a simple task. To do that if you simplify it that's Whereas, your game as well isn't it it's just dead like accuracy with the wedges keep yeah the play. yeah I've got, distance yeah, I've got control, layup on like, fives and that's literally all day isn't it? yeah try and get it pin high in the simplest way couple balls i think this hey good roll got this to be tied with you, is it? Yeah, that's uh, one under again for me. No. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it was one under as well now.
Oh, we've got one step and nine. Uh, on the on the thing. Yeah, yeah playing playing one six three. One six three is quite a way down, isn't it? This is one of my favourite favourite holes on the course. Such a nice little par three. One six three. That wind's just coming straight up through the chute, isn't it? Yeah, I think it should be a bit off the right. Two off the right. Yeah. It tends to get it harder, doesn't it? As soon as it gets above these trees. Yeah, once you get out of it, it should blow quite hard right to the left, I think. One six three. What are you going with? I'm trying it at just a punchy seven, because I think a normal one won't get there. Yeah. It's the same with an eight, I think. the end of the world. That's the difference though, I've hit a, uh, well I'd say it was like a really bad shot there, but because I'm aiming just right and trying to hit it fairly neutral, I yeah, still I mean, hit the green, whereas if I try to hold a cut up against it. 30 feet away, 35 feet away on a, what you sort of deem as a poor shot. Yeah. Whereas if you're trying to hold it, you overcut it, plugged in the trap, or then you get one going long left, it's like your misses become so much bigger yeah but you sort of tolerate it because you're like well i was trying to do something with the golf ball there shot simple controls his distance controls arm rail talking about like with the strokes gained and like the guy who used scott Fawcett on the decade system he talks a lot about not losing shots on strokes gained which is like a value of how good your approach shot was effectively. So, mm -hmm. say if you're 100 yards in the fairway and the break even point would be 18 feet from the flag, it's quite easy as a pro from 100 yards away to hit a golf ball within 18 feet of a flag from 100 yards in the fairway. Mm -hmm. But if your aim is to hit the ball within three feet, suddenly, or oh, yeah, six feet, like you feel like you should do because that's what they say on the TV. Wind's hailing right to left, suddenly you feel like I've got to shape it into the back right flag, overcomplicate things. Whereas if your goal is just hit it inside the 18 feet average, because that's what a PGA Tour average is, it's quite a simple shot to execute. You know, you keep it simply, simple mentality, this is all I've got to do, hit it 150, hit it within 31 feet. It's not that hard a golf shot. Whereas when you go chasing it, that's when it becomes harder, you overcomplicate it your misses get bigger and you turn a 71 into a 76 because you've or an 81 over complicated things the whole day yeah but yeah i bet at the oxford if you if you went out to bore yourself to death you would shoot a, a lower score easier it's not as much fun or as exciting but then it becomes fun and exciting because it is so mind-numbingly boring and simple Funny, cause this tee shot when I last played it with um, with Laurie, I played because this shot feels like it calls for it. You probably guess what I've tried to play, like a low yeah. stinger cut, yeah, off the trouble, which actually wound up in a decent spot. Um, and yeah, I was in the green part. It's fine, but then you're so much reacting like this tee shot, balls teed up on a flat line what's out there shouldn't really matter yeah. like you're reacting to what's out there a lot rather than actually it's a normal tee shot for me like whatever well yeah there's nothing wrong with it in a low fade if that's your stock standard this is my normal tee shot yeah it's when you go in low fade off this hole the next hole i'm going to try and hit a big high boom in draw then you're like well you've got three or four different swings to yeah. learn to control
if I aim in the right place, half my shots will go left where I'm aiming, half will go right. So if I aim to it at about 150, half my shots will finish left of it, which is on the fairway. Mm -hmm. Whereas I only average hitting, say, 68% of the fairways anyway. So I'm only losing 18% of my hit fairways by aiming to hit it in the rough, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I know I've taken that water out of play with a semi-decent swing. Whereas when I'm trying to finish it on the centre strip, I don't have to be that far left to hit know. it in the water. It's Banksy. Well, yeah. The thing is, you've got to make such a bad swing to get that in the water, haven't you? Yeah, but I'm not I'm not swinging it, not trying to hit it in the water. Just trying That's to hit the difference. Like yeah. yeah. 190. It's quite a strong bit of wind. It pins right at the back, so I want to be five or ten yards short of the flag. Mine's probably flown 148 there, but got on the yeah. angle. Yeah, no, I thought you had 5, 10 yards. Yeah, we well, give me wedge ball. on a scorecard, doesn't it? No, exactly. That's fine, man. So yeah, there we go, another one. Another one through the uh, comments section. Solid, mate. spin it, I need this yeah. flight, I need that strike, it's like well, 88, if I pitch them at high 70s, it's going to run up quite close, like that's quite simple, manageable, if that makes sense. This has an about 80 yard shot, um, and then yeah. the pin. Well, anything short of run on, and it's downwind, so I'll be like, as long as I fly this over 
75 yards, it's going to go within 10 feet. And you're trying to aim right for the slope or trying to...? I, I would just aim literally a fraction right of it. Yeah. Thank you.